The next indicator module we're going to cover is frequency. Now frequency is really simple. It's you put a, a frame down a specified area and then just is it in there or not? And then you do sort of a series of those, the proportion of those where you have it, that's your frequency. Uh, frequency was really popular in like the 70s and through the 80s, especially with the uh, federal land management agencies. It's kind of fallen out of favor in recent years, which is, you know, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It does have some nice properties to it, but the one real limitation to it, which is why people have moved away from it, is that it is sensitive to the area of the frame that you're going to record frequency in. Now there were some attempts to sort of overcome this by using nested frequency plots. We'll look at those. But really, like, unless you can standardize those frequency frames and one size frame is not going to work for all different sizes of plants, then it just becomes really complicated. It's still a really good uh, method to, it's very sensitive to detecting change. Um, it's correlated to some of the other measures like cover, like density. Um, and so it does still see some limited use, limited application. But really at this point, until we uh, figure out how to overcome the challenges with frame size and against plant size, then uh, frequency is largely kind of a legacy method that you should just be aware of, know how to calculate the indicators from, because if you're dealing with historic data, especially I said from the land management agencies, you're gonna run across frequency data.